Okay, hey guys, I'm here for episode 8 of Smacking the Roster Down. My retrospective of the SmackDown series of video games, which is now the WWE 2K series. I feel that a roster retrospective is the best way to actually do a retrospective of this, because this series has not changed much in 17 years. The engine is 17 years old, and they really only have ever tweaked it and never majorly overhauled it. So... While there will be review elements of the game thrown, and this is predominantly a roster review, because retrospective, because I want to try to figure out which game had the best overall overall roster. Uh, so, as I've already said, the subject of today's roster is SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, the first multi-platform game in this series. As it was released on November 14, 2006 for the PlayStation 2, the Xbox 360, and the PSP. So, who made the roster of this game? Well, the roster was Bam Bam Bigelow, Batista, Big Show, Bobby Lashley, who made his debut in the series. The Boogeyman, who made his debut in the series. Booker T, Bret Hart, Cactus Jack, Candice Michelle, making her debut in the series. Carlito, Chavo Guerrero, Chris Benoit, Chris Masters, Davari, Dude Love, who made his debut in the series, because Cactus Jack, Mankind, and Dude Love are unique characters in Mick Foley, so. Dusty Rhodes, who made his debut in the series. Eddie Guerrero, Edge. Finley, who made his debut in the series. The Great Kali, who made his debut in the series. Gregory Helms, Hardcore Holly. Who would be making his final appearance? Well, it would not be his final appearance in the series, but... Uh, he... Yeah, Hardcore Holly. Hulk Hogan. Only won him this time, unlike the previous game. JBL. Jerry the King Lawler, who is making his debut in the series. Jillian Hall, who made her debut in the series. Jim Neidhart, who made his debut in the series. Joey Mercury, making his debut in the series. John Cena. Johnny Nitro making his debut in the series. Kane. Ken Kennedy, who made his debut in the series. Kid Cash making his series debut. Kurt Angle, which would be his final appearance in this series up until 2K18, where he'll be returning to it. Lance Cade. Lita. Mankind. Mark Henry. Ant. Mark Henry, Matt Hardy, both making a return to the series. Mark Henry making his return since here comes since Shut Your Mouth and Matt Hardy coming back from the one game he missed, which is 2006, because of the whole Edge and Lita and him situation. Melina making her debut in the series. Mick Foley. So this is the only game that you've had all four faces of Foley in the game. Mickey James, who made her series debut. Mr. Perfect making his series debut. Paul Burchill. Pirate Paul Burchill in his only debut, in his only appearance in the series, or WWE games in general, come to think of it, because I don't think he's been in any other game. Psychosis, making his series debut. Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Ric Flair, Rob Van Dam, Rowdy Roddy Piper, The Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, Snitsky, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Super Crazy, making his series debut, Taz, The Rock, Tori Wilson, Trevor Murdoch, making his series debut, Triple H, Trish Stratus, Umaga, making his series debut, Viscera, who is making his return to the series since, Smack, since shut SmackDown 2, Vito, making his debut in the series and his only WWE game, and William Regal. That is the roster for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. It's a really good roster. It's not the best, and sure, and there were games that had somewhat of a better roster, but given that this game had Ray Kali and Umaga in it, who debuted after WrestleMania, this is fairly up to date at that time. Now, we weren't dealing with, you know, facial scanning models and things like that like we're dealing with now, so you could still get them in there without, but there was all that kind of thing. Uh... So, yeah, this had several people who made their debuts. It has 
three that are making their only appearance in the series, and that is Psychosis Super Crazy and Paul Burchill, because everyone else... Oh, and Kid Cash is making his only appearance in the series, and his only uh, game in the WWE, as far as I know. Uh, as far as some of the gameplay features, uh, the Ultimate Control, which is the Ultimate Control uh, system uh, debuted in this series, which has been tweaked into the new Carry and Drax system for 2K18, but it's from something that debuted in this game. Uh, also, the Money in the Bank ladder match debuted in this game. It was just a six-man ladder match, It was, and it was a new thing then. Uh, General Matter Mode was back, but I do think this is the last game it appeared in. Uh, so, yeah. All in all, 2007 is actually a fairly decent game for the PlayStation 2. So, the next series, the next video in the series is SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, which went next-gen for the PS3, even though the PS2 at the time was still pretty much leading every console. Uh, so, we're looking at 2008 next, where we f introduce ECW to the mix, and you really should have just dropped the SmackDown vs. Raw title then, when you introduce ECW, but so we introduce EC, we introduce WWE ECW then for that game, and that will be for tomorrow. So if you like, this will be in the Smacking Ross Now playlist. If you like the video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.